I knew going into this train ride it was going to be an experience, either a good experience or a bad experience. It's leaning towards a bad experience right now. It's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. We just finished spending four amazing days exploring Ho Chi Minh City, including visiting our friends that live here, checking out gorgeous buildings, going on a day trip to the Coochie Tunnels, and eating Vietnamese food. And for the next stop on our Vietnam adventure, we're heading to the beautiful city of Hoi An. Hoi An is located over 800 kilometers north of Ho Chi Minh City, and while you can fly to the nearby city of Da Nang in under one and a half hours, we've decided to take the scenic route instead. For the next 17 hours, we're going to be riding our first ever overnight train from here in Ho Chi Minh City to Da Nang, which is the closest train station to Hoi An. Our train leaves at 8.55 p.m. and we just got to the train station and now it's time to figure out where we go and what we do. <laughs> our ticket is in Vietnamese and I have no idea which one is the booking code or ticket ID. Huh. I guessed what was the booking ID and I got it right. Nice job. <laughs> Luckily, there's only one train, so that's easy. And then we're looking for coach eight. And now we're looking for 11 and 12. This is us. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not too shabby. This is pretty, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Nicer than any train we've ever been on. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Vietnam Railways has a variety of seating options and we're staying in one of their first class 2X cabins, which unlike their regular first class sleeper cars, which have two bunk beds, this one only has two beds and we've got it all to ourselves. And on the bed, we have a sheet, a pillow, and a comforter. And when we first got in here, it was super warm. And I thought, there is no way I'll need this comforter. But we do have an AC unit in here and it's kicking on and I can feel the cold air coming in. How do they smell? They don't smell clean, but they don't smell or look dirty. So <laughs> I think that'll be okay. <laughs> I hope so. And besides the bed, we have a nice desk in here, which has some mugs and some water and a cute little plant. We also have some lights, some outlets, and then we have storage underneath the bed as well as up above the door. And that's about it for the room. It's definitely small, but it's nice and cozy. And we booked it on one to go Asia and it was about $189 for the both of us, which is a lot more expensive than their other options. But we just didn't really feel comfortable sleeping with strangers. And we are so glad just to have this whole little room to ourselves. 100% worth it. The train has officially left the station and we are on this bad boy for the next 17 hours. And I will say, I am much more excited about being on this train for 17 hours than I was on our 17 hour flight to get to Asia because we have beds so we can actually sleep and it's gonna be way more comfortable. One of my biggest fears of this train ride just became a reality. I was sitting here and we were eating a snack. Catherine looked over my shoulder and went, oh my gosh. Turned around, tiny little cockroach. <sighs> Don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> oh no. And he went in there somewhere I knew going into this train ride, it was going to be an experience, either a good experience or a bad experience. It started out good. Oh, jeez. Someone just banged against the door. <laughs> it's leaning towards a bad experience right now. Maybe the hour and a half long flight would have had a better idea. It's okay. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. I hope. There is a bathroom down the hall from our cabin, but we have yet to see it, so let's go check it out.
It's a little small, but it's not too bad. It has a toilet, a sink, a little bidet, and it has toilet paper, which you don't always find in the bathrooms in Vietnam. So that is a win. It's about 10.30 p.m. and we want to get up around sunrise so we can enjoy as much of this ride as possible. So we're going to try to get some sleep. Hopefully we don't have any friends joining us. The key word is that we're going to try to get some sleep. Wish us luck. Hi. Night. Don't let the train bugs bite. Oh, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Real quick, we wanted to remind you that this is your last week to order your limited edition A plus K shirt. Pre-orders will close at midnight central time on March 31st. So if you want to rock an A plus K shirt, make sure to order soon. And we'll have a link to the pre-order in the pinned comment below. All right, now back to Vietnam. It is 6.15 a.m. and we officially survived our night sleeping on the train. Admittedly, I did not sleep great. Um, you would think it would be all the noise and the moving of the train because it is pretty loud and it's pretty bumpy and we stopped a few times overnight. But I don't think that's what kept me up. I think it was maybe the AC. <laughs> it never came on and so it was a little warm and I was sweaty. But there were times where... I did get a decent amount of sleep, but it wasn't the best. It kind of felt like sleeping on a roller coaster, but that's a little bit to be expected because we are on a moving train and I think it's going pretty fast. But the second we woke up and we saw the views of the countryside, the sun rising, some water buffalo, and then now the ocean and mountains and coastline, it just totally reminded us of why we chose to do this experience. We wanted to see as much of Vietnam as we possibly could and these views are stunning. They are worth a few bugs in the cabin and some iffy sleep. <laughs> We've got seven more hours on this train, so our mission now, find coffee. Coffee has been acquired and now the goal is to make it back without spilling it. We had to go all the way to the front of the train to get our coffee and along the way we got to see all the seating options. We have two beds like we said but we saw cabins with four beds with six beds and then you get to the front where they have just regular seats in the train cars and then finally the kitchen car where you can order food and then we got our coffee. Let's see how Vietnamese train coffee tastes. It's pretty good actually. I saw he put some condensed milk in there and that makes everything better. It's definitely sweet. It's such a strong coffee flavor. It's almost chocolatey. It's almost like hot chocolate. That's good. Not too shabby, Vietnam Railways. <laughs> A car just came by selling snacks and drinks, so I guess we didn't have to walk all the way to the front of the train to get some coffee, but it was good exercise. So I got another coffee, and we got some waters, and we also mentioned that the AC wasn't working, and we can feel it working. I guess they just fixed it instantly, so we should have said something hours ago. Thank you, thank you. We're pretty sure that we get a free meal in this cabin, but we're not sure what time it'll come. So we came prepared and we brought some snacks. We went to this grocery store in Ho Chi Minh City and got this thing called Yopaki, Yopoki. It's a Korean rice cake that has like a sauce on it. It looks really good. And they have these hot and cold water dispensers at the end of the hallway. So I'm gonna go put some hot water in this and give it a shot. Well, the water machine came out way too fast and I put way too much water in here. So it's supposed to be nice and creamy, but mine's very, very soupy. It smells really good though. It smells very oniony, kind of cheesy. I don't think the rice cakes are cooked on the way. We 
we have about four and a half hours left and we're currently somewhere right around here and I'm trying to get some editing done but it's so hard because all I want to do is just look out the window. The views on this ride have been gorgeous. We have so many mountains around us right now. We're going through all these fields. You get to see people just working and just living their daily lives. Compared to Ho Chi Minh City which was very hustle and bustle city life, this is just so calm and such a different side of Vietnam and I'm just loving it. You know, the train has had its ups and downs. <laughs> it's had highs and lows, but right now this is a major high. This is exactly what we wanted to do this for, just to see smaller town Vietnam life, places that we probably would never visit in Vietnam, but now we get to experience from our window. read that this cabin on this train comes with a free meal and a man even came by earlier asking if we had lunch and we told him no meaning that yes we need a lunch whenever it's meal time well the meal cart just came by and they rolled right on by our room and we didn't get a lunch from them and so we went and asked them and said hey can we get a lunch and they said that we told them that we do not need a lunch so I think it just got kind of lost in translation but thankfully we did bring snacks so we'll be okay all right, another plot twist, but this time a good one. We were just sitting here and this very kind woman who works on the train came by and asked if we wanted some free rice. And we said, sure, that sounds amazing. And then about a minute later, a guy stopped by with these two to-go boxes. And we just assumed it was the free rice. And then we opened it and there's a whole meal in here. They brought us some meat, some cabbage and some rice, which was very, very, very nice of them. And 17 hours later, we have made it to Da Nang. We still have about 45 minutes to get to Hoi An, so we're gonna grab a grab. I just love saying that, to get the rest of the way. So for a 45 minute ride, it was 398,000, which is about $17. Our hotel did offer to have a driver come get us for 300,000, but I wasn't sure if that was a good deal or not. It was a good deal, but that's okay. <laughs> We have finally made it to Hoi An after one heck of an adventure to get here. It started out a little hairy with that bug in the first hour, which led to not the best night's sleep, but as soon as we woke up, saw the views out the window, it more than made up for any negative thing that happened. We might not be ready for another overnight train tonight or tomorrow, <laughs> but we are excited to experience more trains here in Vietnam. When coming into this Vietnam trip, we just knew not everything would go super smoothly. We lucked out with a super smooth first four days of the trip. Having friends show us around, it was super just easy and comfortable, and now we're on our own, and things are probably gonna go a little mm -hmm. wrong, but that's what makes for the best memories. So even though there were some highs, and there were definitely some lows, at the end of the day, we're gonna look back on this train with laughter. Mm -hmm. We didn't get eaten by a roach. That's right. <laughs> and that's all that matters. But I think it's a... Time to maybe like shower this yeah. train off of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Enjoy a bed that doesn't move like this all yeah, night. Yeah, all night. <laughs> <laughs> so that way we can fully explore Hoi An. And brought us these meals. <laughs> How nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The table's not as long as I thought. <laughs> Well, uh, minus the fact that I just spilled it all, all over myself, that was very, very, very nice of him. <laughs> Dang it, I had to ruin a good moment. <laughs>